welcome back and uh, in this tutorial as promised we are going to go over widgets and what widgets are they are just your sidebars so like I said before uh, your widgets are just your sidebars those things that will appear here as the left hand side let's hover to our website and check out what they put on their own like as you can see what the things that are here are just basically pictures and their contacts and also if you scroll down you see other cool stuff that makes this website pretty cool so this same thing and what we are going to be inserting in our widgets today so let's get started before we move to widget area we need to log into our control panel so you open your wp hyphen admin and you press your enter key so when it loads you click on log in and here we are in our dashboard so the next thing you want to do is to do what click on your appearance and go to widgets once you click on widget it will load a widget areas like this so you have your default widgets these things here are called widgets you have your default widgets here so you can just drag and drop but before we do that i'm going to remove each of these ones here like if you hover to our website here the one we are creating you see that what they have here is basically a picture at the first one they use it to do advert then the next one if you screw down the next one is also picture as you can see here before you see something like contacts which you see your facebook your twitter your instagram before you see search search box and then you see another picture another picture then you see music of the week and the rest so these are what we'll be doing in these tutorials so i just wanted to show you anyway so i'm going back to my widgets here then i'm going to remove this archive i'm going to drag it out of it to deactivate it then these categories i'm going to do the same thing drag it out to deactivate it the metal i'm going to do the same thing so anyways i forgot to explain what each of these places mean now this this place said sidebar widget area what it's basically telling us is uh, i think let me just show you so you won't get confused what it's basically telling us is this side the sidebar which are this side here where you see these things now the other one there the other ones there are main widget area which contains your post main widget area let me show you here they are this place where your posts are displaying now you see list of posts this place are your main widget area then if you over to your footer first area then what is simply telling us is if you scroll down you see this place this side here are your what footer first area then these other ones are just the footer side so maybe as we are putting text there you get to understand them so what i'm going to do first is to take a custom banner something i can use to display a picture and place it there so that will give us banner as you can see we have a widget here called banner displays banner so just drag it to that place you want it to appear drag it and place it there do the same because i think we have okay it displays something for us in this banner we can paste our html codes that will display the banner so if you are not familiar with html i think i'll be making a html tutorial so just stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe in order for you to get it so anyways what i'm going to do anyway before i get before i do that one let me first of all complete the banners that we are going to paste there so it's two so i'm going to drag another one and then drop it there i'm going to close it anyway too then another thing i'm going to do let me look at the website another thing we are going to do is to uh, okay all right is to drop our contacts there contact us in order for us to do that you can design it in Corel draw or design it with photoshop and just take it here but i don't have that time to design so i'm going to take something actually 
so we are going to use uh, the banner again in that contact us i will show you how to paste your html code in each of these banners but for now i'm going to move ahead to other things so the next thing we want to do there is to is to take our this is also a banner this is also a picture it's something is related with this one so i don't need to code it uh, twice i will just put everything in this banner the next thing we want to add is what our search box but there's a there's a default search box there already but i'm i'm not going to use this one so i'm going to click on delete to remove it then i'm going to scroll down scroll down and see this search here then take it to that place taking it to that place where that search is supposed to be and uh just leave it there then the next thing we want to do as directed by our website is to add um, another banner then another banner or let's just insert two banners there then the next thing is uh the next thing is this one here that said music of the week this thing also is a banner uh, i know it sounds kind of confusing but i'll be able to walk you guys through it it also a banner so i'm just going to drag another banner and insert it there okay will you get confused if i said that this other one also is a banner this video of the week here this one video of the week is also a banner don't get confused so we are going to drag another banner and drop there boom and i want what i love adding in every of my website is i love adding my facebook page why not because i want people to subscribe so i like adding it there but before i do that i would like to add this one mega mark tab now when i add it you see the coolest feature of this widget okay what is his own function is to display one the comments the comments in your website two it will dis display the popular posts in your website so you can just have this instead of adding recent post uh, recent comment and the rest so you can just have this one so that is what the coolest feature of this mega mark tab and the next thing we want to add there of course is our latest post so just drag it down and then so after you insert all this i think you should just refresh your website and see how boring it will look wow it looked pretty cool notice that what you are seeing here is just banner 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 with these default colors if you st start typing your html codes there then your picture will be able to appear now the first thing we want to do is to learn how to add contents or how to add pictures to this banner so what i'm going to do i'm going to add the video first like as you can see there's a video here this one i said video of the week there's a, actually a video so i'm going to show you how to add this video so what you're going to do is to go to go to youtube i've already opened my youtube here then click on any video of your choice then click on what share it's loading when you click on share you see what embed so you click on what embed when you click on embed it will load this code for you so what you need to do just copy the code go back to your widgets then locate the one for for the video i think the video is the last one so i'm going to paste it here then what you need to do just paste it here paste your code here then click on what save once you click on save then go back and refresh your page refresh your page and i think you see a new thing now and boom uh, your video appears here but it's kind of weird because the size of the video is bigger than what the size of the banner so what we want to do now is to learn how to edit the video so that it will be an accurate size with the banner so uh, if you watch it uh, you see side widgets width is 300 the widget 
with uh, the footer width is what 300 so what you need to do is to change this uh, widgets this width here to what's 300 then probably change the height also to 220 200 is 220 pixels then you click on what save and then refresh your website to see what happens and if you watch it's looking sweet now everything is fit and uh, I'm not gonna dwell here for so long so the next thing we'll be learning how to do is to add our pictures to this banner so uh, I've already downloaded the pictures I'm going to use because maybe I don't have time to design any picture now so I will just download for this demo and uh, if you are going to be using this website for commercial thing it's not advisable you download pictures so just make them by yourself for privacy reason but if you're just play, playing around with it you can just download pictures and use so let me go ahead and uh, start inserting the pictures so for us to add uh, the pictures to these banners I think my recorder is is telling me that my time is up so see you in the next tutorials and don't forget to subscribe bye